Hey guys, in this video what I'm going to do is show you how to download a control program into a DX9100 over your network. Uh, instead of having to use the uh, GX9100 software plugged directly into the device, we're going to download that directly over our uh, local network. So the first thing that you want to do is save your program and then you want to go to the actions tab and you want to download this to a file. If you have an extension module on your device you need to make sure that you select that option on the left here. You also want to make sure that you have it, uh, the address for the DX entered as well. This program, uh, all these programs are address specific, so you do need to enter that DX uh, program. Once you have that selected, you download this to a file. It will take a few minutes, uh, and then you will see a pop-up that says Download Complete. Once that is done, you will then open up your Metasys Extended Architecture. And... Uh, you know that is where we're going to be using the N2 device loader. Now you need to make sure that you have your uh, pass-through tools installed onto your uh, your computer. Now then we open Metasys Extended Architecture. We're going to go to our tools and we're going to open the N2 device loader. Okay, here is the pop-up for the N2 device loader. We're going to browse to the location of the downloaded file that we just did. And we're going to select that. We're going to hit OK. Now we are going to connect host. We want to connect to the ADX server. So we select the connect host. And what it is going to do is go through the ADX server. And it will populate all of the devices that you have on your network. And from this drop-down window here, you will select the particular uh, network automation engine. Uh, that you are going to be downloading the program uh, that the DX or the controller is on. Uh, once you select the correct uh, NAE, then you will select the correct DX. Be careful. Double check your address. You do not want to make a mistake here because if you load your program into an incorrect device, uh, you know, you can uh, crash a uh, crash system. You can crash whatever that controller was. So you want to make sure that you download the program into the correct device. Once you press the download button, the software is going to run. It'll take a little bit of time for the program to completely load across your network. But uh, so what we're going to do is just let this run for a bit and then we will come back. Something that I wanted to note on this is for a brief period of time, all of your outputs on your controller are going to remain in their last state. Uh, you know, if you have a motor running, uh, it should continue running, although there's no guarantee of that. I highly recommend that you shut the system completely down before you actually do the download. That way, you know, you'll protect your equipment. Uh, if something were to go wrong, that way you're not trying to get a pump turned off, uh, you're not trying to get an air handler turned off, go ahead and shut that system down before you do this. And you will actually notice the device, uh, it will probably stay online with Metasys for a brief period of time. And what you're seeing here is this, uh, the extension modules are currently being downloaded as well. That's one of the things that it does, is it does download the extension modules as well. So you got to make sure that you have those options selected correctly. Now looking in Metasys, if you were to uh, go back to that window, you would actually see points offline under your system. And that is because the uh, extension modules are being loaded. Now don't worry nothing about that. You know, they should come back in once the program gets downloaded to them. Anyways, guys, this is just a brief demonstration on how to download a control program to a DX9100 using your network instead of having to plug directly into the controller. I hope this uh, is useful to you. Now, you'll see here that it comes up that's uh, download complete. You should be good to go. 
I appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.